Hello Cup Coders and welcome to the Cup Code Spotlight. Today you're looking at a game called Space Com. It's a tactical space command as you see over there on the upper right of the screen. Um, this is a strategy game. It is first and foremost a strategy game and many of you may not realize that I am a, a fan of strategy games. I love strategy games, man. I enjoy playing them. These, these are the games that when I'm just sitting back and I'm laid back and I'm watching television, you know, I'm not the type of person to just sit there and watch TV. So I have something that I'm you know, occupying my hands and brain with. This is the kind of game that I play while I'm watching a movie or watching television. And because it's not something that requires constant attention. But at the same time, it does still and stimulate your brain. It does still make you think about what you're doing. So we're going to go ahead and get into this and show you what the game looks like. Let's go to missions. And I've, I've already completed this very first one not right here. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do it again anyways. Just so that you can see how to play it. I think there was a... a hold on, is there a tutorial? Yeah, no, no. Okay, so it's the first mission. So we're going to go right there and start game. Now, of course, there's a lot of text right here that you can read. You don't really have to read it. Look down, and I would, I would say, look at the bold white stuff to figure out what you have to do. But it's not always the case, so you do kind of have to read it. But generally, if you look close to where the bold lettering is, you can find your instructions. So follow instructions, calibrate the quantum entanglement, com, and sweep the sector of rebel presence. That's all we have to right, do right there. Um, so if if the developer of this game is watching, that's my suggestion. Change this so that the actual instructions for the level should be in bold and everything else should not. Period. Done deal. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click proceed. Proceed. Now, there are three fleet types in this game. There is the battle fleet, the siege fleet, and the invasion fleet. And it shows you what fleet you're working with using this little... I don't know, Chevron icon, whatever it is. Um, if the top is filled, then there's a battle fleet there. If the middle is filled, then there's a siege fleet there. Bottom is filled, there's an invasion fleet there. Now, the battle fleet is best against other ships. Siege fleet will destroy a world, and invasion fleet will take over a world. Simple. Very simple stuff here, okay? this is. But it, it actually, even though those are the only three fleet types that you're going to have, as far as I can tell so far, it really does make some for, for some really deep strategy all right so this one tells you this is a battle fleet this is the only fleet we're going to have in this particular mission so we're going to i'm going to right click here to move it in in line so that you can see the entire map here now we are down here on alpha five you see we've got two battleships here and uh, then we've got horizon there then there's sierra uso mombasa delta lima torres and frontier now the objective in this mission is to wipe out the entire all the fleets here so we it right over here because this is the tutorial level right over here it tells us exactly what we're going to do click on the fleets with less mouse, left mouse button so we're going to click on the fleets with the left mouse button and then it wants us to move the fleets to horizon so we're going to now that we've clicked here we're going to right click over here now that tells it to move those sh ships up to the horizon now this is pretty much it we can zoom in we can zoom out but that's the basics of playing. Right click to just select them, or left click to select them, right click to tell them to move. Now it wants us to move them here. So once again, I'm, over, I'm, I'm, right, I'm left clicking right here to deselect. So now I'm going right to cl left click here to select it and right click here to move them. Now if you look here real quick, what is this? You see this? That's an invasion fleet. Now that, as we mentioned earlier, this is an invasion fleet. They invade worlds. Invasion fleets and the destroyer fleets are not very good at ship-to-ship -ship combat. Okay? So we're, we have a pretty much a hand-down victory here. So we're going to move our two battle fleets. You see we have two battleships down here. We're going to move them into Utho. And they will automatically attack any enemy they see in the air. Now they are in attack. That's why we have this red lane in red circle there. So if we click here, over here we can watch the combat at hand. You can see down here each the timer build. And this is how long it takes before them to load up their cannons and make a shot. Um, you can see their health bars right here. I've got four health bars. They've got three health bars, and they are dead. Victory is completed. 
And of course, if you're losing, there is a retreat button there, so you can retreat. Now, now that we're clicked on Utho, I'm gonna real quick because we're not gonna. I'm just gonna ignore most of these because I kind of know what we're doing. But down here, you see it's got two ground troops. Now, in order to take Utho, we would have to send in at least three invasion fleets or destroyer fleets because you have to overwhelm the enemy. That's how this works. All right, now this wants us. Select one fleet in your Utho system. You can do that by, yeah, we're going to click here, and we're going to click this guy right here, and it wants us to go to Sierra, and it wants us to take the other one to Mombasa. So we're separating our fleet here. So they go in two different right areas, and we can speed this up here. Let's go ahead and speed it up. All right, now. We want to destroy the fleets at Tor Delta and Taurus. So here's what we're going to do. I'm, I'm going to click here. Click, 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 click. Now, my opinion, and both of these are destroyer fleets. See, that's a destroyer fleet right there. And so is this. They're sitting there. They're trying to destroy the world. My opinion, when you're going up again, what I would have done is I would not have split my ships on, at that point. I would probably would have kept them together. So, we're going to bring our fleets back together. Now, they join back together. We click on them. We're going to take them up here to take out these two. Now, we've got a siege fleet and an invasion fleet up here. Remember, neither one of these fleets are any good at ship-to-ship -ship combat. But if you notice, the she Siege fleet only has two hit points, while the Invasion fleet has three hit points. So the Siege fleet goes out quick. And we are almost done with this mission. Poof! Done! Mission complete. We're going to continue and move on to the next mission. Once again, you cannot rely on the white letter, but it does get you close. If we look down here... Um, Rebels have established in a foothold in Vilga Sector. Space Command ordered a swift response. All right, assume command of the battle group and move the to eradicate the system in which the Rebels have established a foothold. And that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to be playing with the siege ship this time. Uh, remember, the siege ship is not that great at ship-to-ship -ship combat. So we're going to take these guys right here. They, uh, what it wants us to do is it wants us to move our siege sheet. Select these guys here and move them to Addo. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to destroy the Addo, Addo planet. We're going to destroy the whole planet. Uh, I'm going to speed things along because I don't like how slow this goes. I really don't. But at the same time, you want it to move slower too. All right, so while we are here, we're going to click on destroy. And that will destroy that planet. We can watch the progress down here. And it's almost gone. Poof. That system is destroyed. Now, by destroying a system, that means neither the enemy nor you can use that planet. We can have ships there, but we cannot settle. We cannot invade the planet. And there are benefits to invading the planet. Once you invade a planet, you can use it to gain resources that you'll use for building stuff later. All right. Now, we've got two siege fleets right here. Oh, we got a one siege fleet, fleet right there. We don't want that. So we're going to move our battleships up there to take care of that siege fleet because we don't want, you know, our siege fleets to be destroyed by another siege fleet. That's just kind of stupid. All right. So there's a battle going on there. This should be over fairly quickly. One shot, hit, kill. Poof. They're dead. Now, I'm kind of ignoring what this says over here, but we're going to move on around. Now, by moving to Sigma Centauri with our in, with our battleships, that also lets us know what enemies are around us. Um, if the enemy in, owned this, then we would take damage consistently round per round. All right, so they're moving back. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna head him up right there. We're gonna move this guy right up here. Like I said I'm kind of ignoring the the tutorial now and just moving on. Now we're gonna take out his ships there, and with his ships being gone, we're gonna bring this guy in. Now let's watch the battle. All right, his ship is dead. The 
defense. Destroy this planet. Now because he had three defenses, that's why we have three of these down here. Uh, we do not take damage from those three. It's kind of it's kind of like they just sit there as shields to d protect the planet. And that is it. That mission is complete. We're moving on to the next mission. Uh, we are not going to be able to complete all of these, but at least this one will show you the invasion fleets this time. Um, it wants us to take out the RTM-32, but as you see, it has this little wrench icon there. What that means is that with if we take that over, we can use that to repair our ships. Now, once again, I'm going to speed things along just a little bit. And we've got this guy down here. Let's move him up here. I see a destroyer ship there. We're going to take him out using our fighters. Let's come over here and invade this planet. Oh, 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 oh. We got a battle going on over here. Now that does replay our fleets. Any fleets that happen to be there will be repaired. Now we'll come up here and we'll destroy this ship sitting at Addo. We don't want them there. They're going to get in the way of our other ships. Again, you can watch the battle over here. Battle is done. I can't get rid of this, but I can move it. There we go. All right, now we can garrison one of these here. Uh, so we're going to click unload. Now that unloads one ship to garrison this. Now we click on this. We have one ground troop. That's how you garrison them. You take your invasion fleets and you unload onto that planet. So now we have one set of ground troops sitting on that planet. Um, what these right here is this. We can use these later. We'll, we've got you know resources coming up. We could actually build stuff here. Um, we don't have any resources right now, so that's fine. All right, but let's get moving on with what we're doing. And I'm going to send him over to here. Now, Sigma Centauri is enemy territory. So if we move into Sigma Centauri right now, we will start to take damage for each turn that we are sitting there. The Sigma Centauri is our main fleet. Now it's, it wants us to move our battle fleets to clear the way for the invasion fleets. We've already done it. Like I said, we're ignoring the, the tutorial. Now I've got all of my fleets together. They are moving as one to the Sigma Centauri location just to be safe. And we're going to invade the Sigma Centauri. And I believe that should complete this mission. Okay. Take this guy out up here to Epsilon Oni. Boom. Okay, now I think what it, it's it's still gonna force me to do this. So we're gonna move these guys down here just to complete the tutorial and let's speed it along. I should probably follow the tutorial more precisely from now on, huh? Now we can set waypoints as it, as it says here. So let's let's just use this as an example. We'll set a waypoint here. I'll shift click, shift click, and bring this guy back. And that completes the mission. So we can move on to the next mission. In this mission, we actually have all three: battle, siege, and invasion, and we will be able to generate some resources to play with. So the first thing we want to do is we want to come down here on Regor. See how it's got this little symbol right here? That means that it can actually generate stuff. So we're going to generate an invasion fleet there. So that is working on generating an invasion fleet. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? See, it's right here. This one is extracting resources for Regor. So that is a resource planet. That's what this icon means. It is a resource planet. You want to take the resource planets as quickly as possible. 
So let's get in. And next thing we're going to have to build is we're going to have to take over this planet here, it looks like. So let's get this guy, well, following the tutorial, actually. Let's speed things along a little bit. A little bit faster, a little bit faster, a little bit faster. There we go. We're just waiting on production queue down here. It's a little slow. Um, there is, as far as I know, there is an unlimited amount of resources up at this planet. You will never tap all of the resources, which is a good thing. And you can have battles that can go on and on and on sometimes. All right, so now we've got that. Next thing it wants us to do is it wants us to take one of these planets over. I'm going to bring this guy down here just because. Let's let's set... Now, the reason I'm going through this planet as opposed to this planet is we own the lines here, so our ships move faster there. Go ahead and send them up there now. And let's invade it. All right, and I'm going to come down here and we're going to build a couple, another invasion fleet. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, we've got this. So we're going to unload on there. And I'm going to take these battle fleets up here. Uh, we want to get as many of these as we can. All right, let's keep building. Oh, they took our planet. They took our planet. Let's get down there and get it. Let's get da back down there and get it. You cannot have that. Now, as you see, we've got these little symbols here. That means that we are taking damage as we're sitting here. All right, we want to. We want some more invasion fleets because we're definitely going to make use of this. All right, we're going to take these inflation fleet here, up here. to take them out seriously we need to get our our or generation stuff going on oh 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 we are in battle here okay that's fine we can we can defeat them that's perfectly normal all right we're going to build up here uh we should probably send some of our battle fleet up here send another battle fleet there just to kind of protect those as we go Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I think we're about to lose. Oh, no, we won. Okay. Barely, barely, but we won. All right, we need some more battles. And as you see, the battle can escalate rather quickly into something a lot more powerful than you, you would expect it. Even though there's only three ships to work with, it is definitely a lot more complex than that. So that's going to be it for this episode. As always, a like, a comment, and a share lets me know that you care. Uh, if you're interested in this game, it is available on Steam. It is a fairly cheap game, so go check it out. Uh, we'll see you in the next episode of the Cupcoat Spotlight. The next episode should be a very special episode of the Spotlight. See you next time.